What up, YouTube? Back again with another video. This is going to be a cool video. Um, I've been wanting to do something of this nature for a while. Um, everybody that knows me knows I've been through so many infinities. Um, I buy them, fix them, mod them, trade them. This is a loud ass truck. Yeah, leave. But anyways, like I was saying, I've been through so many infinities, modding them, uh, slamming them, cosmetic stuff, you know, just the regular stance stuff. Um, and I have not been able to keep anything long, um, but you'll see all the infinities that I've owned, how long I've had them, how much I paid for them, what I did to them, and where they're at now. And then I'm also going to rate them. So. Like I said, I've been through 15. I still own two of them currently now. Um, so let's get straight to the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Drop in the comments what you want to see in the future as far as content with the YouTube. Um, Trying to put more content out there for you guys, my fellow Infinity owners and enthusiasts, and Nissan as well. Um, so let's get straight to it. All right, my very first Infinity, um, we call this one Ruby Red. This was an 05 G35 Auto. Um, I paid $8,500 for it. Um, bought it from a used dealership. I put half down, so my payments were very low. I think I was only paying like 100 a month. Um, but I owned it for, I think, two years before I ended up trading it in. Um, I only did the little basic cosmetic stuff like Plasti Dip, debadged the trunk, um, but I sold it because it started to have some weird issues. It was going to become a money pit. Um, the car was definitely wrecked before I bought it. Uh, but I have no clue where it's at now. If I was to rate this car, it'd probably be a... Only because it's my first Infinity, I got to give it a 5. Infinity number 2. The most popular clouded car there is my 2008 g37 um i was eyeing this car for months before i pulled the trigger and bought it it sat the, at this used car lot forever um it was low miles i bought it with thirty thousand miles um when it finally got totaled i think i only had eighty thousand miles and it had been through three owners um but i paid close to twenty thousand for it back uh in 2016 i think it was um, but I owned it for close to six years, the longest affinity I've ever owned. Um, as you see from the pictures, I've done a ton of stuff to this car from wheels to suspension, headlights, um, exhaust work, side skirts, um, everything's been done to this car. Um, tail lights have even been done at my second point of ownership on it. Um, but, um, I sold it at first only because when I started my new job, I didn't want to have any debt going into a commission job. You never know what your paychecks can look like. Um, so I sold it just to eliminate some debt, um, but definitely missed it, definitely regretted it. Um, I have no clue where it's at now after being totaled in Charlotte. Um, who knows what dealership or person bought it to fix it and... Um, possibly sell it or drive it themselves um but met a lot of friends with this car made a lot of memories been through so many wheel setups as you can see um this car was on the news um <laughs> man a lot of memories with this car um this car has probably seen the most infinities um also because i own so many different infinities while owning this car just a daily so i didn't put miles on this car um but it was definitely sad to total it um if you are wondering how I got totaled, you definitely need to check my other video out um, to find out. But yeah, finally made it into Spring Fest in this, as you see in this picture. Um, I got denied the first time I applied, got into the Stance Con, which is in the convention center. But yeah, definitely missed this one. If I was to rate this one, be a solid nine and a half. Um, definitely nine and a half. Infinity number three is the 03 black g35 sedan manual drove to maryland to buy this car i think i paid three grand for it um but this thing was fun um 
owned it for a few months, um, did quite a bit to it, lowered it, put the wheels on it. Shout out to Sam for the livery um, decals that she did, but threw the Cosmos wheels with gold lit inlays in, slapped some 5% tin on her, um, but ended up taking it to my first drift event, learning how to drift. Um, definitely was fun. Um, this car had a welded diff, coils, um, and I think that was it. But yeah, obviously you've seen the picture. I got hit head on literally the day after the drift event. Um, I was supposed to be, I had my coupe at the time, but I definitely should have drove the coupe to work today because that coupe probably would have been totaled. But yeah, um, if I was to rate this car, it probably would be a seven and a half. Um, but I have no clue where it's at now. It's probably been crushed. Infinity number four is the G35 coupe in manual. I bought this car to replace the sedan drift car to drift, but it didn't work out that way. This car was so low. Um, but I think I paid nine grand for it. Owned it for a few months, not long. Um, I didn't do anything really to this car besides slap the wheels on it. Um, but I sold it because I, I just got scared something was going to go wrong with it. But this is how the car sits now. Um, it's still around locally, so I still get to see it. Um, but if I was to rate that card, probably be a six and a half. Infinity number five is the 2000 um, M45, which is the V8. Um, I think I paid three grand for this car. Um, I had it for a few months. I bought it just as a daily for my coupe while I threw on the um, OG setup together. Um, so um i didn't do anything to it the car already had bc coils on it i bought those work euro lines that were laying on the ground in one of the pictures um but um didn't do much to it i sold it because i didn't really need it anymore um i actually almost ended up getting killed trying to sell it um but i have no clue where it's at now i saw a lot after i sold it but i have no clue if, if it's even or still on the road at this point um but she would be a solid 4.5 Infinity number six, um, one of my favorites, 07 black G35 sedan manual. Um, I ended up buying this in a three way trade. Uh, so technically, I only paid three grand for it, um, but I had it for quite some time. I think I had it for about a year. Um, I put the coils that actually came on my coupe when I bought it on there. Uh, threw the G35 stock wheels on it. I drifted that car every day, beat on it. Um, it was a fun car. Took it out of town quite a few times. Um, but I have no clue where it's... Actually, I'm sorry. I do know where it's at now. Um, the owner I sold it to ended up totaling it. Got an accident. <clears throat> They're still good, but the car isn't. Um, so the car is no longer with us. But if I was ready that car, man, that was like a solid 9 out of 10. And... Infinity number seven was the 2008 G37, I want to say it was. Um, it was an auto. Um, this car was a headache. I had issue after issue with this car. Um, dailyed it for a little bit. Had transmission problems, had key problems. So I don't know if it's even still on the road now. Um, but I didn't do much to it besides throwing these 370Z Ray wheels on it. Um, but I only had it for a few months too, um, but if I was to rate it, it's going to be like a 2.5. And Infinity number eight, the gray G35 sedan rev up manual. This was a 06. Um, I think I paid six grand for it. Um, I had it for, I think, a year, um, but I did wheels. Um, the car already had a seat, diff, PBM angle kit. Um, all the drift mods already. It was a rev up, so it gave me a pain trying to diagnose the issues. I had to turn the whole motor apart and put it back together, still have the same issue. So I just cut my losses and sold it. Um, I have no clue where it's at now. I think it's still on the road, um, but um, definitely miss it. Uh, bought it with plans to continue drifting, but that didn't work out. But if I was to rate this thing, she's a 8.8. .8. Infinity number nine is the Q45. I can't remember the year of this thing, but honestly, there's a reason why. I barely drove this thing. I think I bought it and didn't have any space at my house to keep it. So I had my boy 
Fendo drive it. Um, this thing, as you see, had a hydro in it, steering wheel, had a, a harness bar in it. I had no clue what the dude was doing with it. Um, obviously could never find out because he actually blocked me after I bought it. So, um, but yeah, had this thing for quite some time, even though uh, Fendo was dailing it. Um, he did quite a bit to it, to TLC, um, as far as keeping it in good shape. Um, but I uh, have no clue. I think the last time I checked, this car doesn't run for some reason. Um, I wonder if they figured it out now, but um, hopefully it's still out there somewhere. But I don't think I want to buy it back. Those things are electrical nightmares. If I was to rate that thing off the one drive that I had with an experience, it's probably going to be like a 3.5. Infinity number 10. Um, I call this the retirement car. Um, obviously, the number 10 Infinity had to be the newest. This was my first jump into getting new Infinity. This is a 2017 Q50 Red Sport all wheel drive. Um, got it for low. I think I paid 28 for it, um, but I stole it from the dealership because they did not know what they had. Um, but I owned it for about a year, um, did not do a thing to it. Um, it was such a fun car, stock car. I was pretty much out of the car scene when I had it. Um, unfortunately, see, it was totaled. I lost control on the interstate hydroplane. Um, so have no clue where it's at now. Um, it's probably already been fixed and sold to somebody at one of those little mom and pop dealerships that sell wrecked cars. Um, but if I was to rate this thing, she'd be a 8.5. This was definitely a fun car. And you can see from the last picture, um, Infinity 11 ends up being this 07 M35. This thing was fully loaded. I mean, peanut butter interior, had a TV in it, heated and cooled seats, all the safety features. Um, I think it paid two grand for it at 267,000 miles, but this thing ran like it was brand new off the showroom floor. Um, I ended up selling it to my neighbor. It's still there. Um, I could buy it back if I want to. Um, but if I was to rate that thing, it'd be probably a solid seven. It was a solid car. I hate to talk bad about this car, but this car gave me so many issues. 07 G35 sedan, manual, rare with the sunroof delete uh, from the factory. Um, this car had a welded diff, coils. Um, I think it had a hydro. Um, intake full exhaust was fun to get it sideways um, the car actually died the first night I had it um, alternator went out then a little bit shortly down the road the axle ended up blowing on me so um, this thing was just a pain um, I think I paid 10 grand for it had it for a few months took a L sold it to Caesar as you see he's been taking well good uh, care of it it's redone the whole car honestly I mean it's unrecognizable now um, but if I was to rate that car, it'd be a six and a half. Infinity number 13. This definitely was lucky number 13. This car was a piece. Tons of rust. Um, I only owned it for eight hours. I bought it for a thousand, sold it for 1200. Um, didn't do anything. Uh, the car was getting ready to literally fall apart on the road. It was so unsafe. So I just cut my losses and sold it. Um, but I have no clue where it's at now. I highly doubt it's even on the road. It's probably been crushed at this point, which it needs to be. But if I was to rate that thing out of the one drive, probably a two. Infinity number 14. Me and this car have a love-hate relationship, and we are still together, unfortunately. Uh, my 2019 Q50 Red Sport all-wheel drive. Um, paid way too much for this car. I bought it pre-COVID, so... Um, but honestly the pay the price i paid was worth it because of the mods that was done to it this thing was pretty much full bolt on when i bought it um those are some pictures of me bagging it on the clock on the dealership lot with my boy chad um, but the car was tuned by ams um, which i go over in the previous video on how i blew the motor but um dumped a lot of money in this car i think this car has taken i think this car beats the coupe as far as money invested um, even though I didn't pay for the motor or the turbos that went on this car, the mods alone, I mean, I paid more for these brakes than I have any set of wheels I've owned on the coupe, um, just in the brakes and the brake pads on this car. Um, the wheels, I mean, I paid three piece price for these wheels, um, versus the coupe. Um, 
the tune was another set of wheels itself the bags i mean this thing's got well over 10 grand probably 15 grand in parts on it definitely the fastest car i've owned also the only infinity that i've owned that's blown a motor and it's also one of the lowest mileage infinities that i've owned which is sad but it is a fun car like i said fastest car i've owned i've done a lot to it um, i still have it it's still here um so no need to go over that stuff i've been through so many wheel setups with this car um but it's a fun car i just have a love-hate relationship with it um don't really have any future plans for it. honestly everything's already been done to it um maybe a couple more exterior mods um but besides that i mean i don't really have much plan for it um if i would, it's hard to rate this car since i still have it it is a fun car if i didn't build motor or turbos this thing would probably be a 10 besides the fact that i can't get sideways and drip um but yeah and last but not least the 2012 g37 sedan manual a rare unicorn um obviously if you've seen the last video you already know what's done to the car um but i paid 12 this car pretty much saved me when my q50 motor blew i actually went to look at this car in the q50 with no idea that the motor was going to blow on the way there um so i ended up just going ahead and buying it because i needed a daily while my q50 was in the shop um but yeah it's been a fun car so far working ac i've got bluetooth now um obviously being the 2012 um, it's got the vhr motor so it's a lot quicker than all the other g sedans that i've owned um <clears throat> but it's also the loudest um g30 or loudest car i've owned honestly it's got a full tome full headers um i'm getting ready to get it tuned it's got three inch intake so um a lot planned for it um uh, it's definitely a fun daily um but if i was to rate this car it's hard because when i drifted it for the first time it was very hard to get it sideways so i'm gonna give it in the nines for sure so that concludes today's video thanks for tuning in um 